It's a great day, five minute meditators, and I hope that you are rising with energy after a beautiful night of rest, that you are feeling rejuvenated, that you are feeling restored, and that you are ready to continue this month of passion and moving in that area. I hope that I know I was missing over the last week so much has has been going on and I had to attend to life because one thing I know is life is going to continue to life. It's going to create levels of distractions. It's going to challenge you to keep going. So I'm going to use my personal experience this past week of bringing us to a place of let your passion force you to keep going. My inspiration right now in that is watching the movement of Deion Sanders. So ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in. And hold. Hold. Hold that breath. Just a few more seconds holding that breath in. And release. I tap into my passion even through distraction. I tap into my passion even through distraction. You have to give yourself permission to keep going regardless of what's going on in your life. Listen, we can't control situations, circumstances that we don't create. What we get to control is how we move through the passion. Don't give up on you. Don't stop moving toward that passion. Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in. And hold. Hold. Hold that breath. Just a few more seconds holding that breath in. And release. My passion drives me through distraction. My passion drives me through distraction. I've heard from a lot of people this week who've asked, how do you keep going? What makes you decide to keep going? Why why don't you just stop? Well, the truth is the keep going part is a personal choice. It gets personal when you're on the journey of your passion because your mind may have created a whole perfected or what you believe is a perfect situation. And when it doesn't come in that way, a lot of people quit. That's where your passion takes over. Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in. And hold. Hold. Hold that breath. Just a few more seconds. And release. I trust me on this passion journey. I trust me on this passion journey. If you're waiting for any validation from other people, it doesn't matter. Naysayers are going to pop up. Discouragers are going to pop up. All of those type of situations. You have to trust you on this journey so that you can be your best self. Look around. Anybody else there? with your name, with your action, with your purpose, with your passion? Probably not. Guarantee it's not, right? It's just you. You got to work it. Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in. And hold. Hold. Hold that breath. Just a few more seconds. And release I honor myself by not being afraid to push to my passion. I honor myself by not being afraid to push through the passion. You have to give yourself permission to know that you, I mean, if you want to be afraid, be afraid, but don't let it stop you. Fear should be able to motivate you. Because if you are operating in a space where your intuitiveness is on, 
<clears throat> that creates, you know, these warning signs of danger and don't go this way, this cool. But if fear is stopping you, you need to actually assess what that fear is. Your responsibility to you is to keep going. Let your passion drive you through the distractions. Just keep going. I see you. Namaste.